Hello, my name is Philip, and I'm a uh, diesel mechanic by trade. I wanted to introduce myself because I'm in the job market. I'm, I'm looking for a real opportunity with a, a company that, that can offer me advancement. Lately, I've been uh, uh, employed by small employers that, that there's no potential for advancement, and I'm looking for uh, an opportunity with a larger company, a company that can offer me benefits, offer me a position as a, a ship supervisor or, or potentially or work myself in, into uh, management over the repair facility. What I've done, I started out working as a laborer and, and once people found out I was handy with tools then I, I suddenly worked my way into the garage. And uh, I worked on machinery, uh, agriculture, mining, construction, all types of machinery for over 10 years. And then I went to uh, college. Right now I live in North Carolina, and I'm uh, available to move about anywhere if, if there's a decent opportunity for me. But what I've done is I've gone to college. I've taken a, uh, I've earned a two-year degree in heavy transport technology, which is basically the repair of highway road tractors. And uh, some, of, some of the equipment on the trailers and various this and that with diesel-powered equipment. First semester I was there, we covered diesel engines. We went uh, deep into them. Uh, I took some English and some computer stuff as well as just the requirements of the state. The second semester we did uh, transmissions and differentials, uh, power transmission equipment such as the clutch and drive line. The third semester was in the summertime. I believe we studied electronic engines at that point. It's hard for me to remember each each course I've taken, and uh, after that we got into like air brakes and, and things. Uh, there's a uh, hydraulics. Um, I basically had more practical experience with hydraulics than the school could have ever t taught me, but you know that's part of the program. Did a, a electrical stuff. You know, was a, we covered anything from uh, Ohm's law all the way into computer controls. I also took some courses through automotive to earn a certificate in automotive electronics, which that was issued to me in 2010. Had a little conflict with the college about getting that issued, but that's beside the point. But I'm here today to uh, try to sell myself to you as a potential employer. I'm a uh, very skilled individual. I do uh, a variety of work. I don't care about doing engine work because there's a hundred guys that want to do engine work and I don't much care for that. I, I mean I can put a set of brakes on an hour if, if the S-cans aren't shot. But every employer I've been with has been very satisfied with my skills. However, because they're small time employers I, I'm not earning the type of wages that, that I deserve and I'm looking to advance into a job that turns into a career, not not just a paycheck. I mean, I would I would be more than happy to be on a, a team of mechanics instead of just me myself being in the shop by myself, where I can get no help lifting heavy items. One example is uh, there was no one around, and I had to lift the head on a caterpillar engine. I didn't have any lifting equipment, and I actually hurt myself doing it. And I'm trying to get away from the uh, uh, shade tree type of service and into a, a real profession. I have been to ASC, I'm currently master certified. Uh, I have not taken gasoline engines and I did not take preventative maintenance because I didn't really have a need for that. However, my, my certifications are up to date. If you have any uh, interest in, in learning more about my education or my qualifications, you can uh, gladly post a comment to my channel and I will get back to you as, uh, as soon as I can. But as I said, I'm looking for a real opportunity for advancement. Um, one thing I didn't cover is, is I have a one-year diploma in business administration in addition to my mechanical degree. And that's very important in today's uh, uh, tough economic times. I mean, you've really got to uh, watch every penny you spend and you've got to uh, Make sure you're replacing defective parts, not, not just putting parts on a vehicle because you think it's bad. You need to uh, confirm that it's really an issue. Um, some, some things are questionable, 
And I've seen a lot of people just change parts because they don't understand if it's bad or not. I'm one of them people that, that does not want to waste money because every penny you waste, I mean, it's not only wasting the company's money, it's wasting my time as well because that didn't fix the problem. I just want to be very clear, very straightforward. I want you to understand that I'm a real technician and, and not some, I don't know, I don't want to d offend anybody, but, you know, shade tree, uh, backyard, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'd really like an opportunity to uh, meet a real company who's looking for some skilled, a skilled employee who is uh, very dedicated to detail. Um, thank you for your time, and I certainly hope you uh, take a look at my skills if you're needing a qualified mechanic.